The Monster's Pet, Collection of Books 1-3 by Adara Wolf, is a dark, erotic fantasy series that follows the journey of a young man named Aiden as he is thrust into a world of power, magic, and dangerous liaisons. The trilogy consists of three interconnected stories that explore themes of dominance, submission, and the complexity of relationships between creatures of different natures and statuses. In the first book, Aiden, a human in a world ruled by supernatural beings, finds himself captured by mercenaries and sold as a slave at an auction. His buyer is a powerful and enigmatic entity known only as the Monster, a being with a formidable reputation and notable for his brutal treatment of his possessions. Aiden quickly learns that the Monster is named Lox, a powerful demon that is feared and respected in equal measure. Despite his initial terror and resistance, Aiden becomes intrigued by his captor. Lox is unlike anyone Aiden has ever encountered, cruel yet captivating, with a hidden depth that Aiden is determined to uncover. Lox takes pleasure in breaking Aiden down both mentally and physically, asserting his control and dominance at every opportunity. However, as time passes, Lox's treatment of Aiden shifts, showing moments of care and protection that confound expectations. Throughout the first book, Aiden navigates the delicate balance between his desire to gain freedom and the growing complex feelings he has for Lox. Aiden's experiences in Lox's domain challenge his perception of not only the demon but also himself. He begins to embrace his role as Lox's pet, finding satisfaction in submission that he hadn't anticipated. In the second book of the series, Aiden's relationship with Lox continues to evolve. As Aiden becomes more entwined in Lox's world, his understanding of power dynamics shifts. He is introduced to Lox's allies and enemies, gaining insight into the political machinations of the supernatural society. Lox's behavior becomes more mercurial, and Aiden is forced to reckon with the true nature of his master and the monstrous aspects of his personality. This book delves deeper into the world's lore, discussing the origins of demons like Lox and the history that has shaped their society. Aiden also discovers more about his own past and the human family he was torn from. Despite learning the darker aspects of Lox's character and past deeds, Aiden's connection to the demon grows stronger, and he begins to see Lox as more than his captor, developing genuine feelings for him. The politics of power come to the forefront in the second book, and Aiden finds himself involved in a plot that could disrupt the balance of power within the supernatural world. Friendships and alliances are tested as Aiden tries to navigate his dual role as a human and as Lox's pet, often finding himself in perilous situations. By the third book, Aiden and Lox's relationship has developed into something neither can fully define or escape. Their bond has become more complex, marked by moments of intense intimacy and dramatic conflict. Aiden finds himself more confident in his role by Lox's side, even as he struggles with the moral implications of his loyalty to a creature that others view as a monster. The third book explores the ultimate consequences of Aiden's journey into Lox's dark world. On one hand, Aiden has come to terms with his submissive nature, finding a measure of peace in accepting Lox's dominance. On the other hand, he is continuously reminded of the power imbalance between them and what it means to be a possession in the eyes of many. Tensions escalate as external threats loom over Lox's domain, and Aiden discovers that love and attachment can be as much a vulnerability as a source of strength. Aiden is faced with difficult choices that force him to contemplate the sacrifices he's willing to make for Lox, and whether their relationship can survive in a world where humans are seen as inferior. Throughout the third book, the narrative becomes darker, focusing on themes of betrayal, redemption, and the consequences of power. Aiden grows remarkably throughout the series, from a captive human slave to a capable and influential figure in his own right. Ultimately, the trilogy culminates in a showdown between Lox, Aiden, and the forces that threaten to tear apart the life they have built together. Aiden is forced to confront his fears and the darkness within Lox, facing the possibility of losing everything he has come to cherish. The relationship between Aiden and Lox serves as the central axis around which the plot of all three books revolves. The journey through submission to empowerment is a tumultuous one filled with moments of intense passion and dangerous adversity. 
As Aiden becomes more deeply entrenched in Lox's world, the lines between monster and man blur, leaving readers to question the true nature of monstrosity and the power of love between two vastly different beings. In The Monster's Pet, collection of books one to three, Adara Wolf crafts a world where dominance and submission intertwine with power and emotion, ultimately exploring whether a monster can ever truly be tamed by love, or if such a connection is doomed from the start. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.